Hey y'all, my name is Kiss and Gabrielle and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I make my southern sweet potato biscuits with a cinnamon honey butter glaze that is to die for. If you just keep watching, I'm going to get everything together and we'll make this recipe. Okay, so let's get started with my delicious sweet potato biscuits. I'm starting off with a medium to large baked sweet potato that I baked in the oven at 375 for about an hour. And now I'm just peeling off all the skin place into a bowl. My base sweet potato is actually still warm so it'll be more manageable to work with and also it'll accept the flavors that I'm adding to it very well and if your sweet potato isn't warm you can just pop it into the microwave for a couple of seconds and that'll bring it up to a warm temperature. And while I'm mashing this you can mash the like button. <laughs> I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter One fourth cup of light brown sugar. And basically I'm making this kind of like a sweet potato pie filling and I'm eliminating um, eggs and the milk. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And this smells so good, it reminded me of Thanksgiving. Making sweet potato pies with my mom. Delicious. So last but not least, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. So this recipe can be used for breakfast, brunch, or any time of the day. This is really good. Okay, so to prepare my biscuit dough, I'm actually using a pre-made biscuit mix. It's by the brand Southern Biscuit Company, and it's called Formula L. And when I tell you it makes some of the best homemade biscuits, it is so delicious. They're nice and fluffy and they have shortened pieces in it so that it adds a buttery element to the biscuits after they're baked. I found this biscuit mix actually at my local grocery store. So far I bought it from Publix and also Walmart. But I live in the south and my mother-in-law tried to make my recipe and she lives up north. And she wasn't able to find the biscuit mix at her local grocery. So if you can't find it in your local grocery store you can just... Um, purchase another biscuit mix or you can use any biscuit recipe I will leave a few suggestions down in the description box below with the biscuit dough I just followed the package instructions on the back and it called for three and one fourth cups of the biscuit mix and one and one fourth cup of milk And in this video, I actually decided to follow the package instructions instead of doing what I normally do. Um, what I suggest with this biscuit mix is to um, do the three and one fourth cups like the package says. It'll make you about 10 biscuits. And um, when you're adding your milk, just add it gradually until your biscuit dough is the thickness that you desire. Okay, now we're going to add that sweet potato mixture that we made earlier into our biscuit dough. And you just want to mix the sweet potato mixture really well into the biscuit dough so it's well incorporated.
Okay, so I put some flour onto my countertop. And what I'm doing, I'm kind of folding my biscuit dough over a couple times. That'll add some nice buttery layers to my biscuit dough. So I have patted it out. And I have uh, basically patted it out to a, about a half of an inch thick. So I am basically, uh, I put my biscuit cutter into a little bit of flour. So once it goes down into the biscuit dough, it'll make a clean cut. And I don't want to twist my biscuit cutter going down. I just kind of jiggled it a little bit because I don't want um, it basically to seal the edges and it'll basically hinder my biscuits from rising. So I'm just cutting these biscuits out. And they smell super good. My husband could not wait <laughs> to have these biscuits. The biscuits are in a pan that I've just buttered all around. And I'm popping them in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. So to make these biscuits even more special, I'm making a cinnamon honey butter glaze to go on top. And my biscuits have come out of the oven done with a nice golden brown. They're warm. So I added one cup of honey. Two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm adding a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So now I'm going to pour my cinnamon honey butter glaze on top of my warm After filming this video, me and my family enjoyed these biscuits so very much. And I know your family and friends will also. So if you try this recipe, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a blessed day.